Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Regarding Alistair. We have our main character. What's what is this? Meru? I probably pronounced it terribly wrong. I believe I have. Whatever. It's Monday. We have five intelligence, five social rep, five network reputation, and fifty money. Time for another day at school. There it is. I arrive at school wholly determined to find Alistair today. Unfortunately, I'm so focused on my mission that I walk straight into someone as soon as I enter the building. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, never mind. Well, she's an asshole. Well, that's no way to greet a fellow human being. Calling you a human being is something of a stretch. Zing! Travis raises an eyebrow and shrugs. Why? You don't know what his home life is like, lady. Maybe he's got a bad home life. You don't have to shit on him. See it yourself. I'll see you around, really. Wait, what'd you call me? Before I can ask him, Travis has already disappeared to another hallway, merging with a throng of students. Better than a thong of students. <laughs> I hurried to my class, still preoccupied with what he said. He called me Rui. Could that be Alistair? No, there's no way he'd make it that easy. Unless he's trying to trick me again. God, she's in the back of class like, is he trying to trick me? Is he a trickster? Is he going to get me? <laughs> Everybody else is just trying to do school stuff. She's insane. Ah! Um, uh, are you okay? I look up in surprise to see Shiro standing at, staring at me. Ah, uh, yeah, I was just thinking. Another riddle? Ah, uh, something like that. Maybe I can help again? What? Shiro's face flushes red. Uh, I, I mean, if, if you want me to, I'm not saying you can't figure it out on your own or anything. It's okay, I'm not mad at you, it's just, this is a different sort of riddle. It's a guy riddle. Guys are hard. Are you hard right now? Boners! Yeah. The bell rings before we can say any more about boners. As soon as the class ends, I grab my books and head out. Oh, whoa! Hey, Meru! Hey, Derek! What's up? Just wanted to remind you about our date. Oh, yeah. I'll let you know when I'm free. Cool. Anyway, I'm off to practice. Catch you later. Like you're gonna catch my herpes. <laughs> Oh, I don't miss the school bell. <laughs> that brings back so many memories. <laughs> now that school's out, what should I do with my afternoon? Okay, we can go to the mall, we can help out at school, or we can work on our project. Fuck the project, let's go to the mall and have some fun. I wait outside the gym as the basketball team finishes practicing. Good work today, kids! See you tomorrow! I'm gonna go masturbate in the showers! The basketball players all wander out of the gym and head to the locker room. Oh, hey, Meru, what's up? Hey, you promised me a date, remember? Uh, I sure did. I'm happy to make good on it, especially for such a patient and lovely lady. Wait, is your... Is that Chic Mag or, like, Chick Magnet on your shirt? He jerks his... Oh, he jerks his head towards the locker room... Locker rooms. I read that wrong at first. Just give me a second to shower and change and be all right. Can I watch? Sure, okay, I'll wait. Derek heads off to the showers, leaving me to figure out how I'm going to ask him about Rivenwell Online. I ask him straight up, that would be weird. Plus, if he's really Alistair, then there's no way he'd tell me anything. Of course, if he's really Alistair, then he already knows who I am. I guess I'll have to try and find a way to trick him into giving me information. Why is this all so complicated? You're making it complicated. Just tell him you think he's Alistair, and he's going to say yes or no. And if he's not it, you just go ask the other guys, or accuse him. What's complicated? Nothing! I wasn't talking to myself! I was just thinking out loud! Okay, can we get going? Sure! Man, I love coming here after practice. It's so much fun to hang out. Now I have to go home with my parents. Oh, they're a bunch of dickweeds. I mean, that is our last name. I am Derek Dickweed after all, but still! He takes my hand and pulls me close to him while well, he moves fast. It's even nicer when I'm on a date with a cute girl. Or an easy girl. Or any kind of girl. Ah, I'm surprised you think I'm cute. Of course you are. Why wouldn't I think that? You want my experiences every time I tell a girl she's cute? Well, usually you want to go with pretty, not cute. Anytime you tell a girl she's pretty? No, I'm not. Oh, shut up. I told you you are. Now I'm going to throw you down the stairs. You're pretty, all right? Well, now not, not since you've fallen down the stairs, but still. <laughs> this is why I'm single. <laughs> Well, you are the vice president. I'm not exactly a popular girl for some reason. 
I think I spend more time on video games than shopping for clothes. Oh, you're a gamer then? If you really knew who Alistair was, Meiru, you just gave it away that you don't. Yeah, the, yeah, though I, I think other gamers would beg to differ. What about you? Not into video games? Well, I've tried a few. And? That's all. You don't play games online or anything? If I'm online, I'm probably checking out my email or using Facebook or looking at porn. I love porn. <laughs> I see. Well, you should try playing games online sometimes. They're pretty fun! Would you like to play with me? I can be fun, too. <laughs> Do you have a joystick in your pants? Can we call your boner a joystick? Ah, that'd be fun! Hey, everybody, I want to play with you, my boyfriend's joystick. I mean, my friend, my friend. Play it cool, Mayru. Yeah, I doubt I have time for that between basketball and school. He rolls his eyes. Homework's really a drag, isn't it? You don't get any disagreement from me! As we pass by a trending, trendy clothes store, Derek points to one of the dresses in the window. Hey, I bet you'd look good in that, and out of it. Really? Dresses aren't really my style. Oh, that's too bad. I think you'd look good in a dress, especially a more mature one. It might seem a little shallow, but image does matter. But I'm rambling like a crazy. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? What? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Oops, I just can't tell him. I wanted to know about Rivenwell. That seems suspicious. Uh, um... Ask him something unrelated. At least act like you got something. Oh, alright. I was just wondering if you had a, a girlfriend. Oh, why on earth did I ask that? Mm, I wonder why she asked that. She obviously likes him. A girlfriend? Not really. Okay, if anybody ever says not really in that case, avoid them. The answer is yes or no. That really means something's probably going on on the side or is about to. Why, you interested? May maybe? Ah, then I accept! I'll be your girl- wait, I'll be your boyfriend! What?! He moves fast! He's not afraid of commitment, apparently! <laughs> I accept, from now on, you're my girlfriend! Oh, maybe he's more desperate than we realized. <laughs> That's not exactly what I meant! Oh, I'm s oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine, I don't mind. You don't mind being his boyfriend? Now I feel bad for this guy. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'll be your boyfriend. She's like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Great, then it's settled. I'll see you tomorrow, girlfriend. What? It's getting late. I still have some homework I need to take care of. Yeah, yeah, me too. I didn't exactly expect, I didn't exactly expect to suddenly have a boyfriend. That happens. Well, now that it's night, I should probably do something. Checking email doesn't take me much time, so I can do it whenever I wish. I watch TV and keep up with what everyone at school is talking about. Or I could mess around online playing games and reading message boards. Or I guess I could study. I mean, it would be useful and stuff. Um. Damn it, tits. Why don't we check the email? Uh, uh, these are all old, aren't they? Yep, I believe so. Um, why don't we... Uh, surf the net for porn. I'm gonna find some boners! Time to surf the net. Ah, uh, I love playing video games online. Nothing like a few games to unwind after a hard day. Time for another day at school. Oh, I should've looked at our stats. Tits. Can we see them now, or do we... I have to go right back to school. As usual, classes were boring. It's so hard to stay awake sometimes. Alright, so we got some network reputation because we were online. We, do, we didn't improve anything else. At least it's time for lunch now. We don't have a dedicated lunchroom, so most students either eat in the gym or the classrooms. A lot of guys like to play basketball during lunch break, so if I head to the gym, I'm sure to run into them. The classroom's a lot quieter since most of the students who eat there like to use the extra time to study. Of course, I could always stop by the computer lab. They don't allow food in there, but I can eat my lunch quickly and then head over. Um, let's go to the gym. Oh, cool, they made a basketball court in here. I eat at the gym and watch the guys play. Oh, guys! It looks like they're having a lot of fun. I wish they dribbled me <laughs> and throw me into a hoop. Now that school's out, what should I do with my afternoon? Um, 
we could work on our project, but fuck that. Let's go back to the mall and have fun. All right, time to go shopping. Boundaries Books has all sorts of stuffs from popular literature to study guides. Getting books could help me with studying or keep me in the loop with what's popular. Because that's important. The Divide has a lot of different clothing styles. Each one has different tastes, so what I buy will probably be more appealing to one person over another. So this is what girls do? You go to the store and like, I'm going to buy clothes. What will the guys like me in? Game Go is my one-stop shop for games for my computer. Or my favorite handheld console, the DSP. It's a good idea to keep up with current games. Um, I gotta go look at the clothes store. We can't come this far and not look at it. I stopped by the clothing store. Some of the fashions are really cute. All right, so do I just click on what I want? An evening gown. Should I buy it? We don't have enough for that. Spring dress. No, we don't want that. I like the slut skirt. Butterfly skirt. It's super cute. Designer skirt. You know what? The guy said, though, he liked... Ooh. I actually like these jeans. Is that girly? I'm like, ooh, trendy capris. I love that. With a free belt? Is that a heart belt? Oh, I love that shit. I think he said he liked the dress part. Ooh, what's this? Pink shirt. This is sad that... Ooh, I like the one with the heart on it. This is sad that the part I've slowed down on is the clothes for the girl. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Boundaries Books and see what they have for books. All right, let's take a look at the books. Notebook, good for taking notes in class. They say writing down things helps you remember. I wish I didn't go to the yes or no thing. History of Greece. Oh, what's your face wants us to buy something like that? He can buy his own damn books. Planet Toast, the first book in popular series about a boy who discovers he's an alien and goes to an alien boarding school. Will that make us more popular? No, we don't need to buy it. The Rivenwell official guide, important information about the game, along with full color art. I don't really care about that. Diary? A diary, hand for, for recording the day's events. Also good for remembering names you've got. Uh, forgot. That's a, that's a big tome. And an encyclopedia, a huge book with information about everything. It's heavy. We don't need that. Classic literature, a collection of famous stories and poems that most people consider to be classic. I don't think Derek's going to care about that. Travis would. Cookbook filled with cooking techniques and recipes from around the globe. I think we're a girl and we need a diary. Yeah, let's get a diary. I would like to get one of these other... What was the other one? No, that's the History of Greece. The, the stupid popular alien book. I want that because that's weird. Platitude's first book in a popular series about a boy who discovers he's an alien and goes to an alien board school. <laughs> I need that creepy weird book. And then let's go check out the game go. I don't know if we can actually afford anything from there, but I wonder what new games are out today. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Imperial on first person shooter with a uh, very popular online mode, not much of a plot. Movie Maniac, is that like Movie Mania? Oh, a trivia game about popular movies. That's kind of cool. Diamond Moon, final phase, it's an RPG. Other Sega, a game where you can build a house and make friends in a fantasy world. Well, that sounds boring. I don't want friends. Rock Festival, very popular game where you form a rock band and rock out with all your friends. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Walk This Way, a finishedly difficult puzzle game. Oh, I hate puzzle games. I get so bored so fast. Demon of Edo, that's a cool name. A spin-off game based on a series of light novels by the same name. What's the last one? Monochrome Diet, a horror game where you hunt down and destroy ghosts. Really creepy. That actually sounds cool. Um... Let's leave, because we can't really afford any of those. And let's go home. That's enough shopping for one day. Time to head home. Let's see. What are we going to do tonight? Why don't we study? We surfed the net the other night. Time to study. Study, study. Oh, I don't understand any of this. I give up. That's good. Time for another day at school. Let's see. Our intelligence went up. Oh, our social reputation went way up. Is that because I bought that book that was popular? I, I don't really know. Weird. That's cool, but that, that surprised me. Let's uh, go to school for another day. Chirpy, chirpy birds. Chirpy, chirpy birds. <laughs> As usual, classes were boring. It's so hard to stay awake sometimes. She on drugs. I settled down during lunchtime to read the first volume of Plan Plain Toast. Plain Toss. Planet Ost. Let's see what all the hype's about. 
Mm, the main character seems like a nice kid. I guess I can see why people like him. But it seems like he never does anything. All his friends and teachers do all the hard, hard work. For some reason, he's considered to be the hero. Is it like Star Wars where Luke's the hero? He's just this whiny kid. Interesting book. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. That was kind of the point. I wanted to surprise you. I'm like a fucking ninja. Fuck ninja is what they call me. I mostly call myself that. Well, you did surprise me. What's up? Saw so, you here and I figured I'd say hi. How's it going, new girlfriend? Not bad. Just checking out this new series. Have you read it? Yeah, I read the first few. They were pretty cool. I haven't had time to check out the latest one yet. Oh, well, if you like it, you should keep reading. I probably should. Anyway, just want to say hi. I'll leave you to your reading. Thanks. I'll see you later, okay? Later. Aw, uh, isn't he a dreamboat? Not really. Now that school's out, what should I do with my afternoon? Um, if we help out at school, we'll make money to buy more shit, so let's help out at school and work. I stopped by the computer lab to check my email before I head to the work program. Uh, sorry the lab's closed today. What do, you, what do you mean? I mean the lab is closed? The club is hosting a tournament today. What, so I can't even check my email? Exactly. But the tournament hasn't even started yet! You're being a total douchebag! Listen, these things take time to set up. We have permission from the school, and the tournament's kind of a big deal. Surely you have something better to do with your time? I always have something better to do than talk to you. She's so mean to him. <laughs> Harsh words from such an innocent face. I think I'm going to call you bitch face. Uh, you know, I've heard worse. If you really have other things to do to be doing, then run along. Don't let me stop you. I turned to leave, but I'm not sure exactly where I'd go. The work program doesn't start for another half hour, so I have an extra, a lot of extra time to kill. Of course, if you have nothing better to do, you're welcome to help out here. What? You're here because of that after-school work program, right? Making phone calls, begging for donations. How much do you get paid every time someone agrees to donate money to the school? Well, nothing. I postulated as much. That's the problem with the school or any school, really. We never have enough money. And of course, the funding we do get never goes to something useful, like upgrading the computers or improving the school's... Uh, library catalog system. Apparently some people think that the new gymnasium absolutely needs a new hardware wood floor every year. Some schools are like that. I think the student council gets to say in it. Why don't you run it? Me? Running that useless popularity contest? No thank you. But that's really beside the point. One of our club members came down with a nasty cold yesterday so we need someone to, to help us maintain the bracket. If you'd like to help out, we'll pay you and it's probably more than what the school's offering. Well, if it is, we need money. Hell yeah. It doesn't seem like a bad offer, but there's a catch. Well, fuck, if she's gonna pay more, why not? As long as it's not prostitution. Sounds like a tempting offer. Anything is more interesting than stamping envelopes and calling people who don't want to be called, no doubt. Sure, I'd be happy to help. Good then, uh, let's get you to work. Travis lets me in the lab and hands me a stack of paper. Hopefully we don't have to mail these out. It's a fairly basic double elimination bracket. Do you know how to run those? Yeah, I've seen this before. Great, then you might actually be helpful then for once. Uh, show me how it works. Once Travis is satisfied that I know what I'm doing, he leaves me alone. I spend the next few hours frantically trying to keep track of the results of the 10 or so games that are running at the same time. The tournament finally ends and Travis approaches me with some money in hand. Good work, Rui. Uh, thanks for helping out. I had fun. Travis hands me some money and rushes off to deal with whatever his presidential duties are. I have 35 Oh, $35 now? I think we only made 15 if we would have stayed for done the other thing with the calls. That was a bonus. Thanks, Travis. Time to go home. Let's see. What can we do tonight? Um, why don't we surf the nets some more? No, let's watch TV. I think I'm going to watch TV tonight. This show is so addictive, I can't wait for the next episode! Hopefully it was Game of Thrones. Wait, maybe she's a little young for that? <laughs> maybe a little young? Alright, I'm gonna save the next day at school. Well, let's look at the stats. I'll leave it, go out in the stats. Let's see, it's Thursday, her intelligence is 8, her social rep is 39, and her network rep is 13. I don't really know how that all plays in, but whatever. And she's got $35. So, um, thanks for watching, everybody.